Hey everybody, it's Erin Reed, and welcome to Erin Reed Makes. Today I'm going to show you some amazing diamond art. Now we've been a little addicted to this in our house because it is so much fun. We ordered five more kits. Now you guys have seen some other projects, and there are future projects, videos coming on what you can do when you create it, but I want to show you a completed one. This is one of the ones that's considered a beginner, and it's all based on the size. So my son actually made this. So he is addicted to these. He absolutely loves it. It is one of those leisure things that you can do while you're just hanging out. And as you can tell, this is by Leisure Arts. So I ordered five more. There are four different kinds. There is the Sparkle Art. This one is catered to ages eight through 98. I just think that's so much fun how they do that. Easy Bling Art. And the dots that you're putting on here are actually by Diamond Dots, which is another company that creates them as well. And everything you need is inside of here. It's another form of like needle craft, but easier. It's like paint by number, but easier. It's so simple. They also have a beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And as you can tell from this, the difference between the three is the size. So the beginner size, is this size nice and small very concise the intermediate goes even larger and then obviously the advanced is even larger so it just gives you a bigger surface area to work with so let's open up which one should we open up morgan you want to open the peacock all right we're also going to open up one of the sparkle arts to see how different that is so take a look at that this thing is massive it is so cool so the neat thing about this is that you pull back the back and this surface is already sticky so everywhere on here is where you're going to be putting a little piece of the diamond art. And the code is off on the side here. There are instructions when you first get it, and it tells you basically how to do it. You peel it off, you find the code, you find the number on the bag, you put it in a little tray, you get the sticky stuff, and then you place it on there. Super, super simple. So you also get a series of pieces that are the gems that go with it. All right, so in the kit, you get a whole bunch of these little baggies, and every single one of these has got a code. So AO2, and so you just have to go down here and go, okay, well, AO2 is the blue. It looks like a paintbrush inside. So everywhere you see that is where you're going to put this color. So it may not match exactly the color, but it has a code. And then you have your little baggie that has the rest of your tools. So you have your gel part, which is what you stick your pen into and apply, and it got a little foamy thing. You put all your little gems in there, and then when you're done using all of your diamond pieces, they give you extra baggies. So that way you don't have to get rid of them. And I keep all my little extra gems because I use them for other projects, which I think is so much fun. So this is what comes inside of a kit. These little gems are little circular shapes. They're all like tiny little circles, and they have facets on the top. They're so pretty. And as you can see from this, it looks so cool when it's done and it just shines and sparkles. And there's so much fun you can do with this when you're done with it. I'm going to open up one of the sparkle sets. So I'm going to show you two examples of finished projects that we've turned it into something else. So one thing you notice right off the bat is that the amount of gems that you're putting on this particular design is much less. So compared to the peacock, which is the advanced, that every single square inch was covered. This is a much smaller area. So there's more of a design in the background that you can use for this. All of the rest of the tools are exactly the same. You get your little sparkly gems are still spherical you get your tray you get your all the other pieces are the same the only difference between each of the kits is the background piece that you're getting and how many pieces you're putting on there in terms of the gems but it's still a sticky back that you can apply it is still very cool and so much fun so I'll show you guys a couple of completed projects that I did there is videos coming on this one and this is one that I made actually for another company but you'll see it up on my Facebook coming soon in the next closer to the end of summer so this is one where I took this is the diamond art right here and this is the diamond art right here and I cut out the design and this one I added on a wood frame used some of the extra gems here in the corner with just some glue and tacked it on and then added a stencil that says dream big this one I cut out the dress shape and then did it on felt and this is on a binder that my kids can take to school my daughter is dying to take this a little extra sparkle on the side and then just put hello beautiful and then a little flower here in the corner for something fun so there's so many fun things you can do with this we are actually using these as to take with us on our trips so when we're on vacation and we have days when we're hanging out and we don't want to run around anywhere, or if it's rainy days when you're stuck inside, it's a perfect craft that you can do. Or for the summer for those I'm bored days. And I can tell you what, my kids are like chomping at the bit to take these right now and work on them at this moment because they are dying to play with them. If you would like to order your own diamond art kits, links are going to be down below to where you can find them. Remember, the uh, smaller sizes are catered for ages 8 plus. We have 13 plus for the bigger ones. And just for size comparison, remember the intermediate was one of those intermediate sizes. Let me just show you what it looks like when I pop it open. 
just to give you a size reference, this is how big the intermediate size. But again, there's still some blank space in here, so it's a design. But there is a lot of different designs for each one of these sizes. There's things, there's sports, there's obviously like there's music, there's fun landscapes, there's girl, there's boy, there's unisex, there's a little bit of everything for everybody. And they are just so much fun. So again, links are down below. Hope you guys subscribe. Don't forget to come back and check out more videos and especially the videos about how to create more fun things with the unicorn and also with the ones that we are creating and just a little bit of inspiration with the projects I have already made with those videos coming. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.